Before we start making more advanced programs, we need to capture and store data in our programs. Java is known as strict data typing language. That means that every variable we define must be declared with a data type. And you cannot try changing of data stored in that variable. For example, if you declare a variable to store numbers, you cannot try to store letters in the same variable. Let's get started by reviewing a basic type of data we will encounter. The first is character. The character data type allows us to store a single character or a single number or a symbol. The syntax in Java is char. A variable name such as letter A is equal to single quote A, single quote, semicolon, take particular notice of a single quote. This is different than the literal or a string we have used before that had double quotes. Next we have a variable type called boolean, which is a named after a famous mathematician George Bool. It allows us to store a value of true or false. The Java syntax is bool. The variable name such as result is equal to either true or false. We have several data types that are used for strong numbers. They include integers, data types such as byte, short, int, and long. These data types are used for numbers that do not contain any fractional part. For example, if you were counting the numbers of a cars in a parking lot, you're not going to have a half of a car. There are four different types of integers to store different sizes of the number. The smallest one is the byte, which can hold a signed value of minus 127 to positive 127, and an unassigned value from 0 to 255. The short, the int, and the long allow for much larger numbers to store rational numbers, which are numbers that include a fractional portion, such as 1.75. We use float and double. For most of the exercise in these videos, I'll be using int and double data types. Choose your data type carefully. For example, if you want to keep track of an hourly wage, it is important to capture the fractional portion of the number. If the hourly wage is 10, $0.95 and you work 10 hours, you want to get paid $109.50. But if you store the hourly rate is an integer variable by mistake, you would only get paid $100 since the $0.95 cents would be lost. The data type we just discussed called primitive data types. The other types of data is known as structured data and we will discuss that when we get to classes and objects. Primitive data types store their value directly in memory with the variable names. Structured data is stored by reference or by adding the location and memory where the data exists. Let's think about a few more examples. I will give you an example and you tell me the correct data type. Again, how about the number of cars in the parking lot? If you said it, you are correct. Now, how about the price of a grocery item? This should be double a float since it contains a decimal point. A vowel double quotes a double quote question mark. We use the data type character achar. The value true is boolean and the number of the student in the classroom would be an integer. Again, you can't have the half of a student. All right, guys, that was a quick tutorial about data types in Java. I hope you like it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.